Hi, I'm Grace Sosa. Today we're going to take a look at our female simulator, Noel. Noel can be used in many medical scenarios where a female is required and Noel is designed to go through a complete birthing cycle. But before we get to her birthing functionality, we need to take a look at all of her other capabilities, starting with her airway. Noel can be intubated orally or nasally, although you need to lubricate the airway adjunct with silicone oil prior to any intubation attempt. Otherwise, intubation will be very difficult and is likely to result in damage. Do not use lubricating jelly on any of the mannequins as it is very difficult to clean the airways. It is recommended that you use a size 4 Miller blade and a size 3.5 Mac when intubating Noel. A 7 to 7.5 millimeter tube fits best when intubating orally and an 8 millimeter outer diameter nasal airway is best for nasal intubation. When using an LMA, a size 4 works best. When simulating drug administration via endotracheal tube, providers must use an empty syringe. Passing liquids into the trachea or esophagus may cause internal damage. Since Noel contains a realistic airway, we do not recommend mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation. The airway can be very difficult to clean afterward. Please use a normal size adult bag valve mask, which will seal around the mouth and nose. Normal CPR procedures can be followed when necessary, and Noel has bilateral O2 saturation sites on index fingers. You will be able to hear multiple upper airway sounds synchronized with her breathing, including normal sounds, inspiratory and expiratory strider, and biphasic strider. Noel is supplied with fixed upper and lower dentures, and the tongue may be moved gently from side to side. Noel has independent right and left lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns such as cosmols, chain stokes, biotes, apneustic, apneic, and normal. Lung sounds available include normal sounds, wheezing, inspiratory squeaks, crackles, and rawls. Noel is equipped with several realistic heart sounds which are related to the user-defined heart rate and cardiac rhythm. IV, IM, or sub-Q exercises can be performed using only needle set size number 22 or thinner to extend the life of the veins and skin. There are sites on the upper left and right arms and legs which permit IM injections, and both arms can be used for IV training. Noel's conductive skin sites allow the attachment of real electrodes and defibrillator pads. This feature permits the user to track cardiac rhythms and events with their own equipment, just like with a human patient. She can be shocked or paced with real energy for cardioversion, defibrillation, and pacing drills. And an AED will display Noel's EKG, analyze her cardiac rhythm, and advise action. Noel's palpable pulses are dependent on blood pressure. Users can disable distal pulses to simulate severe hypotension. Programmable blood pressure can be read bilaterally. Using a real blood pressure cuff, put the cuff around the simulator's upper arm with a cuff mark at the medial site of the biceps brachii, about an inch or two centimeters above the anterior elbow, which is the correct site when you're taking blood pressure on real patients. Inflate the blood pressure cuff and auscultate crock cough sounds as you would a normal patient. Noelle functions extremely well in standard patient care scenarios, but she really shines in labor and delivery. Noelle will simulate all three stages of labor with associated breathing and cardiac activity for both mother and child. Vitals and fetal heart tones are displayed on respective monitors, where uterine contractions can be monitored as well. External version for repositioning of breech presentation can be attempted prior to the fetus engagement in the pelvis. In addition to normal delivery, Noel has the ability to simulate delivery complications such as shoulder dystocia, breech delivery, prolapse of the umbilical cord, and placenta previa. Instrumented delivery such as vacuum-assisted delivery can be performed during difficult deliveries. The use of delivery techniques such as McRoberts maneuver, suprapubic pressure, posterior arm sweep, elbow knee delivery, Leopold's maneuver, or the Pinard maneuver can be employed to aid in the delivery of a child. After delivery of the child, the scenario can continue with episiotomy repair, fundal massage, and postpartum hemorrhage. Medications can be administered via intramuscular, intravenous, or rectally. Once the child has been delivered, simulated suctioning of the oral and nasal airways can be performed. However, the delivered baby does not have pulses or cardiac and breast sounds. In order to complete the continuum of care for the baby, the delivered newborn will be exchanged for a high fidelity newborn. This brings us to some of the limitations of Noel. Cervical dilation is not accurately palpable if she is permanently dilated to six centimeters. 
And as with all of the mannequins, while listening for lung and cardiac sounds, you will hear mechanical sounds from the pump. So please take the time during your orientation to distinguish the mechanical sounds from the heart and lung sounds. Noelle cannot stand and or ambulate on her own. She will need assistance if she is expected to move. Due to the mechanics of the birthing mannequin, Noelle does not have bowel sounds. Also absent are pedal pulses or the ability to perform needle decompressions or emergency surgical airways such as tracheostomy or cricothyrotomy. Passage of a nasogastric or orogastric tube is possible, but due to the absence of a stomach, you will not get any return once the tube is attached to suction. If you do attempt gastric tube placement, please remember to use lubricant on the tube. As mentioned earlier, use only silicone spray as a lubricant and never use a water-soluble jelly because cleaning the interior portions of the mannequin is virtually impossible. Also, do not use betadine or draw on the mannequin with ink or marker. Doing so will stain the skin and those marks cannot be removed. That should cover the major points. As you can see, Noelle is a very complex, high-fidelity birthing mannequin that can be used in a variety of different scenarios. You will undoubtedly have to care for her during one of your interprofessional scenarios, so please take the time to familiarize yourself with Noelle's capabilities. See you soon.